day four. I'm concerned for my sanity. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X Life. In a shocking turn of events, I'm still in the One Heart Club. So I think to celebrate, the first thing we should do today is go and visit the clubhouse. Just to flex, honestly. Oh, look at the beautiful red clubhouse with a secret entrance that to this day remains a highly guarded secret known only to the members of the club. Now, I'm just gonna leave a little sign in here just to make my mark on the clubhouse in case I ever have to leave one day. Now, while we're here at Spawn as well, I wanna check out some of the new shops that have been added. Shovel built this beautiful buttercup bakery. It's adorable. You can buy pies and buttercups. Rather an unusual combination, but I'm pretty desperate for some of these buttercups. Cause if you stand on them, they actually give you regen, which is adorable and potentially life-saving. And over here we have Fwip's Slime and Mob Farm Shop. And in here, you can buy 16 slime for one diamond or one mob farm for four diamonds. So, oh my gosh, is this a slime ball? This is so cool. I want to cover my house in them. And this is a mob farm. I'm gonna buy some of these too. Okay, so let's go back home and get some diamonds. I actually managed to find quite a few from mining. So now I can use them to buy some nice things. So first let's trade one of my diamonds for four buttercups. And I'll also take some slime balls as well. Literally just for decorating. I mean, how perfect is that? <laughs> Was this a waste of diamonds? Perhaps. But look! How freaking cool. Everyone's gonna be so jealous. Ew. Am I becoming a slime channel? Oops. Let's put these away. And let's just plant the buttercups out here for now until I figure out what to do with them. Oh, they're so cute. Now, my real mission today was not to collect buttercups or slime balls. It is in fact to get some pandas because I kind of owe Joel a panda in exchange for that windmill back there. So I need to go out and find a bamboo forest where pandas will spawn and I thought I could make that easier if I had a map. Then hopefully I won't be running around in circles. Now I've heard that bamboo forests are near jungles and there is a jungle near the unholy trinity so we can go to Shovel's greenhouse and start our search over here so hopefully somewhere around here is a bamboo forest so let's get in a boat and start searching and hopefully i don't die to a fish <gasps> i see land could it be <gasps> did i already find a bamboo forest wow pandas here i come <laughs> I just realized I forgot to bring a lasso with me, so I don't know how I'm gonna get a panda home. Let's just pretend this is my initial research trip. So, we've traveled to land the far, and we found the bamboo forest. But does it have pandas? Oh my gosh, why are they so rare? This is why we need a panda sanctuary. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Ew! Something just chased me, and I've never seen it before. Why is it like that? Ew! It's some kind of ant. And it's huge. Wait, this is why I carry a bow. Oh, it's dead. Did I just discover a new species? There is much to discover in this bamboo jungle and I still can't find a panda. So I'm going to set up a research center here in the bamboo forest so that I can hopefully one day study a panda and not just horrifying ant creatures. So I'm gonna need to go back home and make a waystone Luckily you can craft them pretty easily with stone bricks, obsidian, and a warp stone. So we need to make one of these warp stones. And then, ta-da! Now we just need to go all the way back. One eternity later. And there it is on the horizon. And I'm gonna place the waystone here and call it Panda Research Center. Now I need somewhere safe to sit and wait for pandas. Oh gosh, it's raining. Oh no, it's raining. I don't have a bed. Okay, emergency! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, no! Things are spawning! Get me in the bed, oh my gosh, help, help, help. I can't even sleep in my bed, there's monsters nearby. Nowhere is safe. Whew, that was a close one. Let's go back. So now we can build our research center and after seeing that horrific creature roaming around here earlier, I've decided to build it far off the ground in a tree. So let's get a nice big old tree. Oh, why is it the shortest tree? It'll have to do. So first I'm gonna do the staircase winding up here. <gasps> what? What just happened? Okay, it's not perfect, but this will do for now. So I'm gonna start building my tree house on this level here. Okay, I think this is plenty of space up here and we can see a lot from here. We just need some kind of structure to keep me safe at night. 
So here is my bamboo door. Now we just need some walls. <laughs> so let's do some fencing around here. Okay, so here's the basic shape. I think it would be cool instead of having a normal roof is to have a leaf roof. And hopefully this doesn't look too crazy. Okay, the roof is complete. I think it looks really cool from here. And if I zoom out on my cam account, well, it looks kind of weird, but it's too late now. Okay, let's do some decorating to make this place more homely. So we'll get a bed down. <gasps> Actually, let's do a green bed and also make some bamboo torches, which actually just look kind of weird and ugly. So let's actually get rid of those and throw them off the balcony. We'll use fairy lights instead. Is this better? There. Okay, that is much better now. I think we need maybe a carpet or something in here as well. Ooh, wait, we could have a leaf carpet and then people would know this place is definitely a tree house. Okay, I think that looks super cool now. We need some more decoration. Maybe some flower pots. And I wonder if we can put bamboo. Oh, <gasps> cute. That's adorable. Okay, now I think I got a little bit distracted from my original goal here, which was to research the pandas. But now we have this cute research center. And unfortunately, in the whole time I've been building this, I haven't actually seen a single panda. So maybe I need to venture out into the bamboo forest again. So I'm gonna take a book and quill out like a true explorer. Okay. Day one, the search for a panda begins. Okay, I've done a sweep of the entire island and there is not a single panda here. No pandas were seen. Let's go back to the treehouse and do some Googling. I returned to the research center to conduct more research on spawning conditions. Hmm, okay, they definitely spawn here in the bamboo jungle, which we are in. So where are they? The next day. Day two. The search resumes. Wait, I just heard something. It sounded like something crying. Did a panda spawn? What made that beautiful noise? Oh no, what if it was a parrot and it's mocking me? What is making this noise? Is it on top of the tree? What is it? Oh my gosh, it's a freaking cat. There's an ocelot. You got me so excited. Guess I better report this in my findings. I heard unfamiliar noises amongst the trees only to discover it was an ocelot. And now I guess we better rescue the ocelot. And if I die trying to do this, this ocelot owes me a panda and a life. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to lasso it. Okay, we got it? Okay, here you go, little guy. Be free. So we pretty much wasted day two on a cat. And we are no closer to finding a panda. The next day. So day three. There's nothing out there. I'm losing hope. <gasps> what is that? It's definitely not a panda. I think it might be a crocodile. What if it kills me? I think it wants to kill me. I encountered a croc and dispatched of it swiftly. And now I can continue my search. <gasps> Ocelots. Hi. Normally I'd be excited by that. Why is her skeleton there? Oh my gosh! <gasps> He's shooting at me! Oh my gosh. Well, that was horrifying. Great, another day, another severe lack of pandas. Still no sign of panda life on the island. I'm beginning to doubt the existence of pandas. Well, there's always tomorrow. The next day. And I bloody well hope I find one to... <laughs> it was a bush. I'm going to destroy the bush for tricking me. Oh, they're actually kind of cute bushes. I love them. Day four, I'm concerned for my sanity. The next day. Day five, people. And it's time to take some drastic action. I'm gonna fill in the lake with grass and hopefully that will increase the areas where pandas can spawn. I'm gonna start over here and we're just gonna make the lake a little bit smaller. Is this the craziest thing I've ever done? Certainly not, it's not even close. There, hopefully this will give pandas more of a chance to spawn. <gasps> oh my gosh, stupid wandering traders spawning everywhere. Wait, where is he? Where'd he go? Where is your master? Even wandering traders spawn here, but still no pandas. Is this some kind of cruel joke the universe is playing on me? The lake has been partially filled. A wandering trader has spawned on the island. He taunts me. Okay, let's get back to the research center before it gets dark and I die. The next day. Day, what day are we on? Day six. I'm gonna do a morning sweep of the island. And if I still don't find any pandas, I'm gonna make some improvements to the research center. Unsurprisingly, no pandas. So let's walk back 
And I'm gonna use all of this jungle wood to make a bridge from the research center over to that tree and then maybe further into the jungle so that we can just scan from above. We don't have to go jumping around in the bamboo because that's more likely to end in death. Maybe I should make it dip in the middle. That would probably look a bit more natural than this crazy thing that I've built currently. There, that's a nice sag. Now we just need some fences so I don't fall off the edge and die. There, now we have a nice safe bridge all the way across and it sags just right in the middle. And over here we have a nice viewing platform where I can look out and check for pandas. But of course, once again, there are no pandas. So building work on the observation platform is complete. Alas, no sign of the furry beasts. We'll try again tomorrow. The next day. I, I don't even know what day it is anymore, but there are still no pandas. I'm just gonna keep extending this observation area further until we observe some pandas. So here is me building another bridge across to a different platform. And then another bridge. And another bridge. I now have a highway in the skies to traverse this island safely. Hopefully this will make it a lot easier for me to spot any pandas if they spawn. However, I have yet to see a single panda still. These creatures are rare indeed. I've lost track of how many days have passed. Probably about 12. Construction of the treetop highway is complete. Panda watch ensues. Three days later. I am about ready to give up. However, I have received some new research from an expert that in order to make pandas spawn, I must be alone on the server. And the other advice was to kill non-pandas on site, which is sad, but necessary, so that is what I will do. So now it's a race against time to find a panda before somebody else logs on. <gasps> Ocelot, you must die, I'm so sorry. You're not a panda. Oh, it sounds so sad. This is horrible. <gasps> oh my gosh, a panda has spawned and unfortunately it's surrounded by crocodiles. Of course it is. Oh my gosh, those things are deadly. Where did the panda go? Oh, it's there, it's fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Hi, let's give him some bamboo. <gasps> ah, look how amazing he is. He's so huge. This is my dream come true, but unfortunately I've lost my lasso. So I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna have to walk back home. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Why did I leave it there? How foolish of me. Okay, let's capture him. I got him. Now, unfortunately he spawned alone, so we only have one panda, but at least now we have one panda safely tucked away in the lasso. I need to record this in my journal. I don't even know what day we're on anymore. Let's pretend it's day 34. I have discovered a panda. It is safely captured in a lasso. Now I think it's time to sign my book and title it The Panda Saga. And this is my first published research book. <gasps> I should put it on a lectern and leave it here for people to read. There we go. Now let's put that over here. Now people can come and read this whenever they want. So that is where I'm gonna end this episode of X Life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Next time I want to find another panda and make a sanctuary. So if you have any ideas for that, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time.